I'm going to make this pretty brief so we have uh, the maximum amount of time to address any uh, questions that may come forward. So I wanted to start out uh, initially and just give everyone a perspective of where we are and where the plan is and where Valhaus is and how it relates to you know, the Wiplicucci and some of the other uh, water bodies around the city of Valhaus. Uh, here is uh, the Wiplicucci plan. Of course, you can see Valhaus is here and as, as a point of reference, you know, the Wiplicucci never comes into the incorporated limits of the city of Valhaus. So, uh, but we take the responsibility of making some uh, tests and doing some sampling and uh, making sure that the water quality in the uh, in the city in the in, in the river is not being affected by what we do. Uh, this was the old uh, wastewater treatment plant, uh, the old with the Coochie wastewater treatment plant here, and uh, this was the plant that was replaced and uh, and moved up. And as a, this this is about a 70 feet elevation difference between where the old plant was and where the new plant is today. And over in this section, I'm, I'm walking away here. This is the area where the new treatment plant was, uh, was constructed. And here, and as you can see, uh, you know, when we do have a release at the plant, and you know, you know, most of that is kept on site, and we, and we work very, very hard to make sure that we keep those releases on site. But, but we do report it as a release, and the uh, Georgia EPD asked us, you know, the number one question on the, on the form that we send in is which water body was affected. So this plant is in the Wuslacoochee Basin. Uh, but however, if we can scroll in a little bit here, you can see that uh, this plant is approximately two miles from from the Wuslacoochee River, and uh, this is the construction site right here. So, so when this plant releases, uh, you know, I know some folks think that there's a direct conduit when the plant has a spill, that somehow that water immediately rushes down and it's in the Wuslacoochee River through a pipe or some other conduit. That's not the case. Really, it has to sheet flow through, through this forested area and uh, for over two miles before, before it would reach the, the, uh, the Wiplicoochee River. And uh, so we wanted to make sure that folks knew that there was a significant different distance uh, between where the plant is and where uh, what we have an uh, uh, entryway into the Wiplicoochee if it made it you know, through all this terrain. And also, you know, the city itself, when we have a, uh, a release in the city of Augusta in this area, and we report it as it was a release into the Wiplicoochee Basin. You know, you know, you can see how far the Wiplicoochee River is actually from the city of Alaska. But I want to get uh, get past that and get on to uh, to our presentation. Just a couple of things 